Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Karuna, resource person from the department of ECE, teaching the course Computer Architecture and Organization. Let us see the contents existed in first unit. Functional units, basic operational concepts, bus structure, system software, performance of the system, one human architecture and Harvard architecture. In functional units, we will discuss each function of each unit. Under basic operational concepts, we will discuss about the concept of operations present in the processor and also we will see different types of buses and their structures. In the system software, we will learn what are the different types of softwares used in computer. Performance. In this topic, we will discuss about how to measure the performance of the computer system using performance measurement equation. And also we will discuss about the difference between one human architecture and Harvard architecture. Coming to the today's topic, functional units. So let us see outcome of this topic. After completion of this topic, you can explain or identify the functional units present in the computer. Next, let us see the introduction to functional units and also we will see how computer handles the information. Information may be instruction as well as data. Instruction governs the IO transfers within the computer or between computer and IO devices and also this instruction specifies what kind of operation is to be performed. Coming to the data can be represented as operand and also it can be represented in terms of binary digits 0 and 1s. Let us see the basic functional units of computer diagram. So main basic functional units are IO units, memory and processor. Coming to the IO unit contains input device, output device and processor consists arithmetic and logic unit and control unit. So this input device accepts the information from outside world that is stored in memory for future reference or that accepted information is processed directly by the arithmetic and logic unit under the control signals generated by the control unit. After processing of that data, the results will be transferred to the memory for storage purpose and also that will be transferred to the outside world through output unit. Coming to one by one unit we will discuss input unit. Input unit accepts information from human operator or other computers. For example, most powerful input device is keyboard. Whenever you press the key, the corresponding character or digit will be translated into binary code. That will be stored in memory for future reference or that information directly accessed by the processor for performing operation on that information. Likewise, many input devices are there, mouse, web camera, microphone, scanner, joystick, touchpad and fingerprint reader etc. With the help of all these input devices, the information can be accessed from the outside world for the purpose of process. Coming to the output units. Output unit, after processing the data or information, 
the processed results will be transferred to the outside world through the devices monitor can be used for data visualization printer we can take printouts with the help of this printer and speakers we can listen the music headset we can record the voice or we can listen the voice projector we can project our contents with the help of this projector and also we can plot some images with the help of plotter these are all output units which are used to uh, deliver or transfer the processed data to the outside world and some devices apart from input and output devices can be used for both input as well as output purpose those are camera which can capture the image or video and also display that image or video on the screen like that touch screen pen drive and series are used for both reading and writing the data modem used to convert analog to digital or digital to analog data and also headset used to record the data or deliver the data coming to the memory unit about this memory unit we will discuss in fifth unit in detail let us see now just introduction to memory unit memory unit nothing but storage device which is used to store information information may be data or instructions memory contains semiconductor storage cells each semiconductor storage cell stores one bit of information for example here memory contains several memory locations for example data 0f stored in terms of binary digits 0s and 1s each memory location is associated with some address each memory location or data can be accessed with the help of this associated address 7a okay so here the to store 8 bit data that location requires 8 semiconductor cells so the data may be 8 bit data 16 bit data 32 bit data or 64 bit data okay so memory contains several memory locations that may be 1 GB locations, 8 GB locations, 16 GB locations, 32 GB locations, etc. Let us see the types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. Under primary memory, RAM, read access memory, ROM. read only memory these memories we can say these memories are volatile memory because whenever power is turned off the data available in the memory will be erased coming to the secondary memory punching device magnetic tape floppy disk optical disk flash disk so these memories are slower than this primary memory and primary memory is costlier than the secondary memory so we will discuss 
all about this memories in fifth unit in detail. So, uh, this hard disk also comes under secondary memory. We can say this memory is also known as non-volatile memory because programs or data will be stored permanently. Coming to the arithmetic and logic unit, this unit will perform all arithmetic and logical operations. Before going to perform any operation, this processor will fetches the information from the memory that information may be instruction or data. The data may be stored in memory or in registers. After fetching of the data, ALU perform the operation on that data. After that, the process result will be stored in memory. Coming to the control unit. Control unit generate timing signals as well as control signals. Here these control signals or timing signals governs all IO transfers within the computers or between computer and IO devices. So, we can say all the activities of functional units will be coordinated by the control signals issued by the control unit. So, that is what we can say control unit is usually distributed throughout the machine instead of standing alone. So, let us summarize this topic functional units. Here whenever you switch on the computer whatever the operating system software is stored in hard disk will be copied to the memory after processing that OS all the devices will be accessed. What are the devices? Input devices, output devices. Here computer accepts the information from outside world through keyboard or mouse and that information will be stored in memory or processed by the computer directly. After processing that data or information the results will be transferred to the outside world through monitor or printer. This is about summary of functional units existed in the computer. Let us come to the slide questioner. What are all the basic functional units? Describe the task of ALU. Notify the function of control unit, differentiate input and output devices, depict the function of memory. Thank you, we will meet in next video.